welcome back to another video here on youtube.com slash Dylan KG. Today's topic is camping and why as a killer, it doesn't really benefit you. And as a survivor, how you can mostly work around it. But before we do that, if at any point during this video you like what you see, head on over to twitch.tv slash DylanKG and follow our broadcast where we educate on the game and have a damn good time doing it. Now, let's get into camping. For those of you uninitiated, camping comes in two forms. Face camping, where a killer just hooks you and stands there staring into your eyes as they grow cold and lifeless. And proxy camping, which is where a killer patrols the vicinity of your hook, looking to catch survivors coming in for the unhook. Both of these are generally frowned upon in game and ruin a lot of people's games. And there's a variety of reasons why, but let's instead discuss why killers shouldn't camp and how survivors can get around camping. So let's start with killers. When playing killer initially, the game basically rewards you for doing well, with blood points and ranking up. At rank 20, you just hop into the game, you get both of these, both blood points and ranking up, by doing the bare minimum. A lot of killers, when first hopping in the game, are often overwhelmed by survivors. They don't know where they spawn, they can't seem to find them, they don't know where to apply pressures or how to chase. So, when they get a hook, they get a down, Lots of killers just sort of start camping. They protect their kill so they can reap their rewards. If they're lucky, survivors will attempt to unhook their tent-bound teammate and subsequently get downed too, giving more blood points and more progress to rank. If the game is rewarding me, I'll keep doing it. So as a killer, a lot of people never do anything differently. Rather than learning to chase, to 3-gen, to patrol gens where people spawn, etc., killers resort to just camping because it works well enough. And at the beginning, it could feel like this is the only way to win. However, here is why killers shouldn't do this. Say you rank up to green or purple ranks-ish. Survivors are getting smarter, and you have only really camped, so you never learned how to chase survivors. So, you have a hard time downing people. On top of this, if you do get a down and a hook eventually, survivors are prepared. They either rush gens and leave, or they use borrowed time, D-strike, unbreakable, deliverance, you name it. Making you fight much, much harder for your camp, and even at that, potentially losing your camp making you frustrated. Say you do get your one kill, your one camp. Well, rewards are now diminishing. You only get maybe two or three hooks that match. Hardly any chase points, no deviousness points. You aren't ranking up anymore. See, by camping, you never learn the skills to get better at the game, to genuinely rank up and to learn to play better against the growing skill set of survivors. And now you're feeling stuck and you're feeling frustrated. At this point, the game seems unbearable to play. You just get frustrated every time you play, you feel like survivors are overpowered. Now, lots of killers will say they camp to ruin someone else's fun or to make people salty, which I think is an excuse and a guise. I have a lot to say on that, but this isn't the video for that. Now, as a survivor, you may ask, well, why doesn't the developer just punish camping killers? And I'll simply say that that is because you, as a survivor, should punish campers. If you see that someone is being camped, your best course of action is to do gens and leave. Yes, camping sucks, and the person being camped has had their enjoyment of the game stripped away from them. Their ability to run the killer, to loop the killer, to do more work on gens, all of that stuff stopped short because the killer wants to ensure they die on the hook. So, to punish the camper best, you should do as many gens as possible. Going for unhooks and allowing them to feed on your altruism only tells them that they can do well if they camp. It feeds the beast. If you choose to feed the camper, that is a choice you actively made, and a poor one at that. As you rank up as a survivor, you will notice that lots of killers don't camp anymore. It rarely happens, except for specific, nuanced circumstances. But why is that? Well, as said before, because it isn't viable at higher ranks. People won't feed you, or they'll outplay you. They'll loop the camper for an extended amount of time. They'll rush gens. They'll leave. More survivors need to be aware of the fact that this is an option. 
It takes about 80 seconds to do a gen by yourself with no regression or errors or additional perks. It takes about 120 seconds for someone to die on a hook if they struggle. Punishing campers is something you can and absolutely should do. You have the power to do so. But what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, and I'll pray to the entity to see you guys in the next video.